Hello everyone. I am Dr. Himadeep Tiala. I am a consultant nephrologist and a renal transplant physician at Irit Hospitals, Gachibowli. I'm going to talk to you today about something called chronic kidney disease. What is chronic kidney disease? When there is a deterioration of your kidney function or the change in size of your kidney over a period of three months, it is termed as chronic kidney disease. That is a vast term. So what all encompasses in chronic kidney disease? Chronic kidney disease could be because of diabetes, it could be because of hypertension, it could be due to long-standing painkiller use, it can be due to a family history, it can be genetic in cause, and some people are born with kidney disease. So chronic kidney disease is a wide term. What is kidney failure? End stage of chronic kidney disease, that is stage 5 CKD is termed kidney failure. It can be a cause for dialysis and transplantation. Unfortunately, chronic kidney disease might not always present with symptoms. It can happen very insidiously. That is, you might not have symptoms at the onset itself. So patients usually present with loss of appetite. They might feel unwell. They might feel like they're not doing well at work or they might not be sleeping well. But these are vague symptoms. What are the symptoms which you trigger you to go to a doctor. If anybody is feeling breathless at the slightest exertion, if you are feeling that you are not keeping your food down well, if you are feeling that if you are not passing urine well, that is reduced urine output, or if you notice frothing in urine, blood or pus in urine persistently over a long period of time, this could mean that you have kidney problems. So any of these symptoms I would advise you to see a nephrologist straight away. Who is at risk? If you are a long-standing diabetic, if you are a hypertensive, that is you have high BP persistently which is not being controlled, if you have habit of using painkillers for maybe non-specific pains like an arthritis and you're taking painkillers over the counter for a long period of time, if you have a family history, that is somebody in your family had kidney failure, that would be a risk factor for kidney disease. So if you have a suspicion of kidney disease and you have any of the signs or symptoms, you should see a nephrologist and your nephrologist will suggest you urine tests and blood tests. So what are we looking for? Chronic kidney disease can affect almost all the organs in your body. So it can affect the nervous system, it can cause neuropathy, it can affect your heart and it can affect even your brain. So you should be very careful that it doesn't progress to the end stage kidney failure where the only option is dialysis and transplant because chronic kidney disease is irreversible. So you have to monitor your signs, you have any of the risk factors I just told you about, you have to monitor your kidney function by urine tests and blood tests. Urine tests to detect if there is any protein or blood in urine and the blood tests will show how your hemoglobin is, how your bone health is and something called GFR, which is the glomerular filtration rate, which will show how your kidney function is in the long run. It is a trend that we monitor as nephrologists. So the risk of anemia, risk of bone disease, risk of heart disease, risk of neuropathy is very high as your stage of CKD goes up. In uh, late stages of CKD, you will be left with no other option except dialysis and transplant. So the target is to prevent your disease from progressing from earlier stages to later stages. Any of the risk factors, see your nephrologist and take a proper consultation. Thank you.